For this project, all of the plants are native to New York State and specifically the Adirondacks. The patio is pitched away from the house, which is a durability concern. You don't want water running towards the house. This is what you call brick stone. It comes from over near Malone. And uh, uh, we had to procure that and, and, and lay it. You lay it in it. You don't lay it on concrete because that's not permeable. So you lay it on a, on a bed of uh, wash sand that's tamped and, and, and prepared. And then we just use, in this, we just use a small little pea stone in between in the cracks so the water just runs right through it. All the water on site, that it lands on an impermeable surface, is kept on site. There's, there's four points associated with that. So everything, all the, all the rain that hits a roof or a patio is collected and then we put those into several rain gardens around the site. And what that is, is it's a natural way to percolate in, uh, the, the water back into the wa water table. When we do that, we need to make sure that the plants that get planted there are the right plants. We actually are using plants in the rain gardens that are, their native habitat is in the riparian zone right down by the river. And they're plants that are used to getting flooded. When there's a big storm off the roof or off the patio and all that water flushes down and ends up in the rain garden, uh, it'll puddle, pool up and then uh, it'll gradually go recede and go down. And so they don't mind being flooded occasionally. Uh, and then the driveway needed to be an impermeable surface or, or otherwise control the, the, the runoff. And we decided to go with paving stones that are permeable and same with our front walk. And all these are things that I think are not only useful, but attractive and... Uh... And of course, that's another thing. We had never done a system this size to gather the water from the roof and put it into the tanks and irrigate the garden. And that was, that was with points in it, but it was also, it was fun to do that. It was interesting. And the garden is fed by a little drip irrigation system with a moisture sensor in the soil. And so it makes our garden really easy to keep green and lush and growing vegetables because it's just harvesting rainwater from the roof. 